Face centered. Speech off. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly, and I'm coming back at you with a part four of what's going on with um, mortgage loan origination process in Texas. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, then keep watching. Okay guys, so in the previous video, I had just told you guys that I was going to call and find out about the pricing. So when I did that, I end up finding out that there's actually two agencies. Um, I will say that Texas SML, the customer service, they do not have a lot of answers. They just refer you to other resources like their website or NMLS. So if you're looking for a lot of answers to these questions, um, that's not the phone number to call. They're more so to check on your application process. Um, that's really and truly what the phone numbers are for. But let me give you the phone number to uh, Texas Savings Mortgage Lending, which is 877-276-5550. Um, I did leave this information on the very first video about why I chose mortgage loan origination in the comments. Um, so again, it's 877-276-5550. If you are wanting to contact an additional department, which is the OCCC um, Texas Department, and that's the department that's going to be dealing more so with um, secondary lending options for persons that already have a primary mortgage loan origination, a, a primary lending um, license. So that would be more so focusing on property tax and building um, more so in the realms of um, home equity loans and things of that nature. Um, the website is OCCC, so that's three C's, OCCC um, dot Texas, T-E-X-A-S dot gov. Um, you could click on the link for finance and it would give you information on why you would want to apply for licensure through that agency. Um, NMLS explains it as it depends on who you work for or what kind of um, office you run. That's going to determine if you need to obtain licensure or apply for licensure through Texas OCCC or if you're going to go through Texas SML, TX SML. Um, and the phone number for Texas OCCC is 512-936-7600. They answer the phone from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And TX SML, Texas SML, only answers the phone from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Um, so definitely be mindful of that. They both ask you for your NMLS number, which you do not have to have. You can ask general questions and um, get this information. But if you are wanting to track or ask questions about your application, then you definitely need your NMLS or application number. Um, Texas SML is going to be the department you're going to apply through if you've never had um, a license before for mortgage lending that that means you're not applying for renewal or you're not applying for secondary lending options um, and Texas SML said right now they're getting those applications processed within about two weeks so that's a huge difference from the state of Georgia that's five months behind right now I will tell you all the application um, for a for licensure, meaning that you're applying to take the exam, they're going to do your credit, background check, and all of that. With Texas SML, it's $126.25 right now. Once you are, uh, um, are approved, then you're going to pay to take the national exam, and that's an additional $110. Whereas if you're applying for secondary um, lending license through Texas OCCC, that is $306.25. Okay, guys. So, um, and then of course you're paying your 110. Um, I'm not sure that um 
you're going to be taking the same exam. I actually need to um, look into that. I did share an article on um, Kingdom First Mortgage's um, Twitter feed about commercial and residential um, mortgage loan process. So um, a lot of states do not require that you have a separate um, commercial um, lending license, but there are states that do require um, education and like the state of California does require um, eight hours of real estate um, college credit hours and they have specific um, requirements that are listed on the article that I shared with you all on our Twitter feed. So definitely check it out guys. Um, I try to make sure to share with you guys things that matter if you are wanting to move forward with mortgage, lo mortgage loan origination. Um, then you need to know every little aspect of it and what you want to do. Um, but that's the update for now. So Texas is getting it done within two weeks of you applying. You will know if you're approved. Um, and then you'll pay your 110 to take the exam through Prometric. And fingers and toes crossed, you pass and bow. You're well on your way to making that money right um i will tell you all that um you know a lot of companies offer um mortgage loan tr training i just um got an alert that navy federal credit union is actually um seeking mortgage loan officers originators um and they'll train you and pay for it so if you're not licensed you don't know anything about it that is an excellent opportunity with navy federal credit union you can search online for that opportunity you could go to nd.com and find it um i just asked siri siri pulls up everything um but navy federal credit union has launched um a training program where you're going to be compensated they're going to train you they're going to pay for your licensure um, you're going to get it all. And you know with a company like Navy Federal Credit Union, you're going to get commercial deals. You're going to get residential deals. You're going to get national deals. So you will be well versed um, on what you're doing. If you want to start, step out on your own, you'll be able to do that because you'll have the licensure and the experience to do so. So other things to consider guys i will tell you that um if you want to um be able to operate as an mlo in multiple states you have to submit um for licensure in every single state so when you um put your application in through nmls you will be saying boom i'm applying for this state i'm applying for that state and you have to pay per state so like georgia's fee was like $181 and Texas fees are like $126.25, right? To start with, and then you take your 110 exam, right? So of course you don't have to keep taking the exam um, because it's a national exam. So once you have your scores there, boom. But you will have to pay those fees for to do their background checks because every state has different um, stipulations really and truly so um georgia had said their stipulations were more so looking at your debt to income ratio and looking at the kinds of debt you had um whereas texas is said they said they don't care about your debt to income ratio they don't care about medical and student loans they're concerned about charge-offs and delinquencies and they want all of them to be in a repayment status so you have to call each state's department and find out you know what they're requiring what they're looking for you know what's the priority with their agency and and that's that okay guys i hope this video was helpful i want you to have and continue to have a phenomenal thursday and i'll see you in the next video selfie zoom zoomed in button center face centered selfie zoom face centered stop recording